This movie shows cloud patterns on Neptune as seen by the Voyager spacecraft over a 68-day period. The individual frames of the movie are views of the planet at 17 hour, 52 minute intervals. This interval approximates the Neptunian day. However, winds cause the atmosphere to rotate up to 3% slower near the equator and up to 10% faster near the South Pole. Therefore, near equatorial features like the great dark spot and the neighboring bright clouds drift to the left in the movie. Proceeding southward, features like the small bright scooter, the faint dark spot, and the bright polar cloud all drift to the right. The movie uses images from the orange filter of the narrow angle camera. Colorization produces hues that match those seen by the human eye. This polar view shows cloud patterns on Neptune as photographed by the Voyager spacecraft. The frames are centered on the South Pole with latitudes displayed as circles. The effect is to illuminate the planet uniformly. Winds cause features near the equator like the great dark spot to rotate slower. These features move counterclockwise. Faster moving features, like the small bright scooter, move clockwise. Colorization produces hues that approximate those seen by the human eye. Here we have a panoramic view of Triton as Voyager 2 passes at close range. In the next sequence of photos, taken as Voyager begins its traverse into outer space, we have turned and are now looking back at Triton from a distance of approximately 29,000 miles. Scientists from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena 
and the U.S. Geological Center in Flagstaff refer to the source of these black plumes as geysers. The apparent up and down repetitive photo sequence is the result of comparing shots from two positions of Voyager for better viewing. These eruptions appear to be similar to volcanic action here on Earth, but since this is an occurrence never seen before, we as yet have no proper name for them. We do know that they are caused by frozen nitrogen gas emitting from below the surface of Triton and carrying up with it dirt and dust, hence the black plumes. Volcanoes here on our Mother Earth planet, on the other hand, eject hot gas and lava, whereas geysers emit water or steam. Following these sequences, Voyager 2 leaves the solar system to follow Voyager 1 in its endless trek into the universe. <laughs>